What's up, world of YouTube? And now Rumble. Yes, we're on Rumble. Please check that out if you haven't. Now, it's been uh, 12 months since George Floyd took any drugs. I mean, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's 12 months since the death of George Floyd. Now, I'm not going to rehash my opinion on that because I did a full uh, review of the George Floyd trial, which, using the evidence they gave, I gave my opinion on that. So if you want to know my opinion, please check out. It's in the George Floyd trial playlist. And, yeah, you can find out what I think there. What we're doing now is review... A protest today. Yes, another protest in the name of George Floyd. Absolutely ridiculous. We were told that the, the white police are going out killing black people every day. So if they are, why are you still on the George Floyd thing? Shouldn't you be on the next innocent victim of police brutality? What's up? Can't find any. Mm. Sort of destroys your narrative a little bit, that, doesn't it? What we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to have a brief little look at this protest, which wasn't very large and definitely was very well organised. Um, and then we're going to have a look at another clip after. But first of all, here's the protest. Chance, 
Um, added some new ones on there. They're going to stand up and fight for everyone, apart from white people. Mm. And apparently, defund now means invest. Do they think that was stupid? I mean, come on. Defund is defund. It's nothing to do with investment. Um, yeah, I mean, that was absolutely a PR stunt. Um, race baiting at its worst, in my opinion. George Floyd's family have also been in the news again today. The George Floyd Policing Act is stuck in the US Senate. And they saying they want specific laws to protect people of colour. They compared it to protecting a bald eagle bird. Mm. I'm not joking. Here's the video now. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, just, uh, we met with the president and the, and the VP. Um, it was just for the remembrance of what happened to my brother, because this was his day that he was murdered. Uh, it was great. Uh, he's a genuine guy. Uh, they always speak from the heart. And it's a pleasure just to be able to have the chance to meet with him when we have that opportunity, too. Um, we're just thankful for what's going on. And we just want this George for our policing act to be passed in the future. Is there any message? Could I ask you real quick? No. Is there a message no. you want the American no. people to know? Because this, this is the thing. If you can make federal laws to protect the bird, which is the bald eagle, you can make federal laws to protect people of color. The important thing to remember, and I think everyone's spoken on different things, but the important thing I want everyone to remember is this. There have been other bills that have been passed um, in the last three months protecting uh, different groups of people. This group of people needs to be protected too. And um, this started a long time ago. There are some things that started a lot sooner that got protected a lot faster. And so we just ask that you, if you're out there watching, you know, urge your congressman, urge your senator to pass this bill because it's very, very important. We're going to just do this one time for his family back in Houston and North Carolina who couldn't be here. Uh, we're going to all raise our fists and say uh, say his name. Gianna, Chris, y'all come up here. <laughs> You want to say, say his name, put your fists up, Chris. Let's say, say his name. Say his name. George Floyd. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. You notice how George Floyd brother said he's doing great, smiling, laughing. That's because he won $22 million in a civil suit. Of course he's doing great. The lawyer who stood next to him, as all you may remember, he was part of the Andrew Brown Jr. Lying, blatantly lying about what happened there. They got found out. Um, and he's even coaching that young girl there to say what he was. Let's go on, quick, quick, say it louder. Put your fist up. Say his name. Say his name. Oh, it's getting ridiculous. So they want one law to protect people of colour. So uh, there's already laws to protect human beings. Doesn't matter what colour, what race you are. You don't need specific laws to protect people of colour. You don't need specific laws based on race. Last time that happened was the Nuremberg laws, and we all know how that ended. For me. As I said, this is just race baiting again at its finest. Um, if their narrative is correct, then where's all the police brutality that's supposed to have been going on? You can count on your hand how many issues they've raised and how many names they keep saying. And they repeat it over and over again. No justice, no peace. Well, you got an injustice when Derek Chauvin was found guilty of murder. Manslaughter, yeah, I could, I could agree with certain aspects of that, as I said. Look at the George Floyd trial playlist that I did for my full review of why I believe that. Um, but again, this is a debate channel. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you do disagree, leave your comments below. Let's debate this.